So, I'm gonna lie, I'm a little bit worried opening up my laptop. I've never upgraded before, so this is my first time doing it. If I screw it up, I've lost my main machine. I do have another laptop, but that was mainly just for writing. In my mind, the stakes are high, but... Uh... I bought a new screwdriver set. The thing is, if you don't see this part of the video, it means that I fucked it. <laughs> and um, this is probably on a hard drive somewhere, never to be seen again. But if you do see it, I've successfully done it. And it's going to go on to the next uh, bit of the video, where I can compare the difference between the unupgraded from the past that you've just seen, and the new upgraded part of the video, which is going to be done on the machine that I've just upgraded. I hope you see this bit for more reasons than one. Okay, hopefully see you in the next part of the video. Doesn't look like much, but it's what I've got. This is my setup. First and foremost, my corner desk. It feels like a control center. Then there is more wires than I know what to do with. External terabytes for games and videos. Makes games run super slow. It's an awful idea, especially when the cat steps on it and disconnects you mid-game. My tasty little mechanical Bluetooth keyboard, uh, which just so happens to spark joy. Your bog standard third or fourth hand-me-down mouse. Don't look too closely at that. Please don't think less of me. It's mainly hand cream for my dry skin. The cheapest webcam money can buy, which has lasted a surprisingly long time. My semi-pro camera that I used to make a living. That all changed when the Fire Nation came, by which I mean COVID. Now, these cheapest chips LED lights do some heavy lifting. Great buy, probably the cheapest on the list. They're USB, so can be used with a power bank for portable light in a pinch. Now, I had no intention of getting one of these, but it was a fiver in a charity shop. Now I have a cam girl light and it's super useful. This audio interface got me through lockdown when I lent into making YouTube videos, voice acting, and making music. The more I use it, the more it shows me the upsides of having one. Couple that with one of the cheapest condenser mics on the market. You have passable audio for a myriad of different ventures. This mic arm though is awful, and I curse the person that chose the cheap screws that round off at the slightest bit of tension. The MK2 Mini and the Wacom Drawing Tablets are things that I've been meaning to play with more. It'll come, honest. Again, I'm not one for cable management, but it's not that bad, right? Right? Anyway, smushed all together with a cheap office monitor I got from an old workplace makes a not terrible streaming workstation. The upgrade. As you can see, I bought a bunch of things fresh. One of which being a magnetic screwdriver and a DIY computer set just for this. I'm sure it will come in handy in the future too. This stick of RAM will double my current capacity, making me go from always being the last person to load into a game to one of the first. It's only an extra 8GB, but using 8GB for most modern games and tasks is almost unbearable. This MB2 stick of 1TB of internal storage is going to replace my external hard drives, speeding up the load speed and securing it from external capitals. This screwdriver kit, coming from the hindsight of after the upgrade, is indispensable for something like this. I'm glad I splurged the £10 for it. Now for anyone who is fresh at doing this, it felt like I was breaking my machine every step of the way, but it is best to be more on the cautious side than the heavy handed side. Gotta say, all this was nerve wracking though. First up is the terabyte internal memory. The build of the Lenovo Legion 15 I have already has the upgraded battery, so only it has space for the MV2 over the HDD, which is better for speed anyway. So no loss there. I did however forget to take the screw off on the first time round, but due to the editing magic, you'll never know, unless I straight up told you. Shit. Anyway, to get to the RAM, you have to take off the shielding to the current internal storage. All of this was just feeling like a lead up to a massive failure. But when I finally got past the random bit of sticky tape, keeping things in place, it revealed the lonely 8GB stick, leaving the ready and waiting free RAM space, ready made for this sort of upgrade. It's like they knew I was going to do this or something. Implementing the handy magnetic screwdriver, I popped everything back and booted this bitch up. There's a bunch of things that I faux pas on a little bit. One of which being when I was get, like recording all the stuff as B-roll for the benchmarking, I was basically deleting stuff so I could then send everything over to my now new internal hard drive and in doing so i thought that i had saved my b-roll onto the new hard drive but instead i accidentally deleted it and there's a good couple of hours of video two or so hours of benchmark and b-roll made before and after the upgrade to kind of highlight the difference in speed so i kind of fucked that one that's on me but the thing i will highlight is 
this upgrade works so much better now. Like the computer itself works so much better now. So much so as like, I don't know why I've taken so long to do this because it's that much better. There's a couple of things I can show you. Like the new battlefield that now actually loads. Like it wasn't loading before. That now actually loads. The download speed for games has pretty much more than halved in time depending on what it is but yeah generally speaking it's way quicker cleaned out the fans that were looking fucking horrific so bad and that has kind of uh, made the heating uh, a little less of an issue which allows the cpu to work better which means that i can do stuff like total war and it doesn't kind of shit itself so uh, i can play a little bit of that as well just to highlight that and what i wanted to show Actually, if I hop on over to this one, please, let's go see. There we are. I can go past this. Okay, let's say single player. Let's say play now. If this is slow for you, then you've got a great machine. <laughs> I've not got a terrible machine, but it is what, uh, part of the GTX uh, lineup, um, integrated chip uh, with uh, Radian. So um, it is an older model. Um, oh, I've never been a mine empire, actually. Okay, let's begin. Straight in. Like, that used to... I, I did have a video of it just taking such a long fucking time. Um, and now it's just straight on. Probably... Uh, so, I think I can sell here, actually. One game that I have been playing, which has been basically impossible to stream because it's just so bitty, has been Dark Tide. And now with this, it's so much uh, more enjoyable to play and it actually can um, be streamed as well. So this game used to take me so long to get into. So from this section, right, it would maybe take about five to ten minutes to get just onto like the whole section. So this is a good So I'd be on this section, reading out these quotes to my team, um, just in case they forget themselves. Um, but because everybody else normally loaded in so quick, they didn't really get to read these. So I'm just like stuck here, reading through these quotes. <laughs> Something to kind of pass the time. Um, but it can only be from pure certain amount of time before it starts getting annoying. I mean it still takes ages to load in. That might be more the game than my machine, but it could just be both. I won't get into a natural match. There we are. Like, if that felt long to you, then um, you lack like, you like patience because previously it has been fucking god awful in such a long time. So this is my game. And it used to be, if I was moving around like this, it would jutter. And that's, that's on here, there's nothing happening. And if you've ever played this game, that a lot of stuff happens on the screen. So... To go from 8GB up to 16 uh, 
for this particular sort of game. Uh, just quite literally a game changer. Um, it also allows me to use something like Streamlabs and uh, OBS uh, at the same time. So it just allows me to uh, have decent performance at the same time as capturing for uh, streams and videos. Uh, You get the point. You get the point. Um, there's a couple of other things that I want to do for uh, this video, but I'll uh, I'll just cut this up for for the time being. Peace.